Mother of Perpetual Help Devotions. O Eternal Father, in your plan of salvation, your word became man, announced by an angel, and born of the Virgin. Through the motherhood of Mary, you gave the human race eternal salvation. Through the resurrection of her Son, our Lord, you gave joy to the world. You gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles as they joined in prayer with Mary, our mother. By the help of her prayers, keep us faithful in your service and let our words and actions be so inspired as to give glory to your name now and forever. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Perpetual Help, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we present our petitions as the humble sons and daughters of Adam and Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, shown to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, hear the prayers of your people as we come to you under the patronage of our mother, perpetual help. Despise that our requests and our necessities and deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Let us pray. Grant wisdom and prudence to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Robert McElroy, our Auxiliary Bishop John John and Ramon, sorry, and our Bishop Emeritus, Robert Brahm, and our clergy and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. Grant that people may live in social peace and religious unity. Grant that the Holy Spirit guide the sons and daughters of our parish in choosing their way of life. Grant that the people of our parish retain their health and that the sick regain their health according to your holy will. Grant eternal rest to all the deceased members of our parish and to all the souls of the faithful departed. Grant guidance and aid in all the special intentions of this parish and all the needs of those present here. Let us silently present our personal petitions to our mother, perpetual help. O oh, mother, of perpetual help, we the faithful proclaim your praise as the most pure bearer of God and our ready helper. You are the protection of our race, our tainted nature's solitary boast, the shelter of humankind. The Lord is with you, and through you, he extends to us the gifts of his tender heart. All creation is made joyful, seeing you with suppliant arms uplifted praying that the burdens of this world may be lightened, that rulers may govern wisely, and that our souls may be redeemed, and we may enter into peace with your Son. And so, blessed Lady, all-embracing refuge, we solemnly acclaim your protection and beg Christ, your Son, our brother, for his mercy, that we may be kept from all evil. We acclaim your greatness, we venerate your gracious care. We present ourselves before you in faith, hope, and love, seeking the truth that will lead us along the way into the life that you share with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. Amen.
Today we're offering the mass for the special intention of Vicky Lisk, Joan Coro, and for the repose of the soul of Kelly Clarendon, and for our intentions. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, to prepare for this sacred mystery, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Numbers. From Mount Har, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people surf, surf, surf serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it that have been bitten will be alive. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole, and whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at it, <coughs> He lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be God. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O oh Lord, hear my prayers and let it come, come to you. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. Oh, hear my prayer. The nation shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord had rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he had regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O oh Lord, hear my prayers. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those doomed to die. Oh, hear my prayer. Thank <laughs> you. 
The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower, and all who come to him will live forever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I'm going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So that you said, he's not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, where I'm going, you cannot come. He said to them, you belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they say to him, who are you? Jesus said to them, what I told you for the beginning. I have much to say about you in condemnation, but the one who sent me is true. And what I have heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, when you lift up the Son of Man, when you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me, the one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. As the Gospel of John continues, teaching remains mysterious, deep, and veiled. After Jesus speaks profound through about who he is, some listeners come to believe in him, while others become hostile to him. What is the difference between those who come to believe and those who ultimately kill Jesus? The simple answer is faith. Both those who come to believe in Jesus and those who orchestrated and supported his murder heard the same teaching of Jesus. Yet their reactions were so very different. Even both started believing in him but in the end, one group of those believers were part of the murders of Jesus. The same is true for us today. Just like those who heard this teaching for the first time from Jesus' own lips, we also are presented with the same teaching every day, even in your Bible, even in the Mass even with others talking about Jesus. We are given the same opportunity to listen to his words and either receive them with faith or reject them or just be different and indifferent. Are you and me are one of the many who came to believe in Jesus because his words or we start thinking, maybe, why we believe in him? 
And during these times, hard times in our pandemic, exactly the same thing happens. Many people came, even to me as a priest, because they still believe in that Jesus is the only Son of God and He can change everything. But I also I have a group of people who stop believing. They just told me I don't believe anymore because of pain, because of stress, because somebody passed in their families. And I was telling them, don't worry. In your way, you will come back and believe again. Jesus is always there for us, but if you want to be part of those groups, I don't think so. That's why you are here in the Mass. Let us hear what she, he teaches us today and believe, because in the end, he's the only person who will receive us in our last day. Amen. Please stand. And let us offer to the Lord our intentions. For the church throughout the world, may our Lord bring her safety through all storms and trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. For our leaders, may God, as architect, direct their actions to build a more just society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. For all those enduring suffering, confusion, or fear in their lives, may Christ protect them and give them his peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. For this community of faith, May God's Holy Spirit inspire us in loving and forgiving one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our loved ones who have died, may God's merciful embrace welcome them home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the intention of Special intention of Vicky Lisk and Joanne Carroll, and for the repose of the soul of Kelly Clarendon. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. And for all the intentions we hold dear in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. And may Almighty God receive our intentions in the name of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Bless the Lord God, our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless the Lord God, our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Let us pray. We offer you, O Lord, a sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift it at your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intend on your prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they had been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy Lord. God, our host, heaven and earth, full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes to the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, our form of holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which we give in out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples and saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim and profess resurrection. Until you come, amen. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathering to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread to other world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, John, Ramon, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope and the resurrection. And oh, that your mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her espoused, with the blessed apostles, St. Francis, St. Clare, and all the saints who have preached you to the ages, 
we may make to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously I have peace and unity in accordance with the will, who lives and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I leave you that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking 
what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach this heavenly gift to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, our Mass is ended. Have a beautiful day.